I eat my own lamb, my own chickens and ham. I shear my own fleece and I wear, I have lawns, I have borrow, borrow, boughs. boughs. I have fruit, I have flowers. The lark is my morning alarmer. Alarm. <laughs> it says alarmer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like me. So jolly boys now, here's Godspeed to the plough. Live life and success to the farmer. Wow. Good morning my lovers, we're back on the fields. I'm out with Roger and we're digging the dump. I've we dug up a few already. And it's amazing the bottles in this dump. It's just one after the other. We reckon that they must have been put in sacks, like maybe Hessian sacks, and then just dumped, because they are crammed together, all in perfect nick. Now we're just about to extract whew, a stoneware bottle, earthenware jar. So hopefully Roger hasn't got it out yet and we'll be able to see it coming out of the mud together. Oh, is Roger doing the extracting? We're getting a bigger and bigger hole. Yeah. We got loads of stuff. We got uh, mostly plain, a lot of uh, fish paste bottles. This one's got something in it. Is <laughs> one with a lid here. We might be able to see. There might be something written on this here lid. And we've even got a bit of Bristol Blue Vic. We'd probably think that was vapor rub. It's got a bit of a screw thread on it, so it's not that old. But it's mixed in with bottles that have not got screw thread. So. Yeah, we're probably going to go right down to the super deep layer and find some really epic bottles. Oh, look at all them bottles. There's loads of them. Oh, here we go. Stoneware bottle. Ooh. Look at that. Look at that. I reckon cider was in that. Cider? I reckon ginger beer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> bit small for cider. It would have to be pretty strong. <laughs> it was oh, strong. there was a bit of embossing on the bottom there. What was it say? Right, I'm going to take it over to that uh, trough over there. Hope the cows don't like muddy water to drink. And we're going to see if we can see anything on it. Take the glasses off so I can see. Right, what's that say? Uh, LCVATF, I think. S, 13. So it looks like something mile, meal. But anyway, it's a lovely little stoneware jar. Lovely jubbly. Let's see what else we can find. Okay, look what we just found. This is epic, epic. This must have been pretty old when it was put in the ground. That was it. Ah, we got to marry it up, look. So I'll start from there. I eat my own lamb, my own chickens and ham. I shear my own fleece and I wear, I have lawns, I have borrow, borrow, boughs. boughs? I have fruit, I have flowers. The lark is my morning alarmer. Alarm. <laughs> it says alarmer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like me. So jolly boys now, here's Godspeed to the plough. Live life and success to the farmer. Wow. We got most of the bits. We're going to see if we're going to glue it back together. Lovely jubbly. Oh, look, we got most of the bits. So the landowner's going to get it restored because they're farmers, obviously. And I found the top bit of the inscription as well. So yeah, we'll put that together for you and see if you can, then you can read it at your leisure. So, uh, oh, here we go. So let the wealthy and great Paul in splendor and state. Uh, I envy them not to declare it. I eat my own lamb. Something like, along those lines. Can you read that? I can't hold it together very well. Need sticky tape. But that's an epic find, and the landowner is going to get it restored. Yeah. So me and Roger are going to give up digging this hole for now. We're going to put. We've got a bit of board. We're going to put a bit of board on top and put some soil around the edge and the landowner is going to come and uh, see if they can find some more bottles but we think it's just a sack of stuff that's been chucked down but there might be other bottles around it um, 
but it was fun whilst it lasted because it was like it was like digging a hoard, a hoard of treasure. Right, I'm gonna have a coffee. I've got a coffee down here. I'm gonna have a puff on my vaporizer, and then we're gonna see if we can find some hammered coins. Yeah, so with all in all, we found some good stuff. Some of the bottles have got screw tops, so they can't be that old. Uh, it's got anything written on there? Can't see it. No. Nope. Uh, this one's got a, a screw lid. This one here, it's got something in it. Should we have a drink? See what it tastes like? No. <laughs> well, it's got like a cartwheel top. Oh, it comes off. Hold on. Can't smell nothing. Actually, it smells a bit antiseptic y, maybe. Uh, it's got a funny lid. It's like, oh, that's rotting. That's just, I think it's just rotting. So, yeah, something toxic, I expect. It can't be that bad, it's got a screw lid. I just wiped that wet stuff off my nose just in case. And we've got one bit of blue glass, Vix bottle, Vix vapor rub, and this lovely stone earthenware jar. So you think that's probably an ink bottle for pouring ink. It's got a lip. It's a slight chip, but he's quite a nice little bottle. Yeah, so all in all, not bad. And we've just uh, uncovered another bottle. Oh! Yeah, it's sticking out the side down there, you see it? So there's still more in there. But the homeowner, homeowners are all dead keen on coming out with their spades, so we're going to leave it to them, because we're getting pretty tired. <laughs> We're going to find some hammered coins now. Uh, if you hear a lot of talking in the background, it's Roger. He's talking to the grandchildren of the farmer because they've, they've come here for Sunday lunch. And it's, they're, they're everywhere. <laughs> so hopefully you won't see too much of them or try not to film them, um, you know, because I'll get into trouble with YouTube filming children. So, I'm not, you know, I'm not keen on doing it anyway. But uh, I've got a lovely signal down here. <laughs> Oh, could be a hammered coin. Hmm, right there. Hammered coin, here we come. Oh. Right. What's that? Ah, oh, it's a spoon bowl. It's a spoon bowl. Oldish looking spoon. Nice thin handle. Oh, it's very bendy. It's a lead spoon. When they uh, didn't know lead was toxic. Yeah, lead spoon. Ugh. So before the 1800s, when they finally, when they decided that lead was toxic, so could be late 1700s spoon. Oh, all that Roger. He should have been a teacher because that then all the kids are around him and he's chatting away. <laughs> oh, a nice moo tube. He missed his vocation in life. He should have been a teacher. Mind that, he's probably got 20 grandchildren as well. Oh. <laughs> right, Let's see what we got down here, a bit of glass. Oh, we might have another bottle dump. Oh, not getting a signal. Oh, I am. In there. Yeah, it's in here. Right. Yeah, it's still in there. Yeah, what's that there? It's a bit of cack. That's not it. <laughs> Still in there. Ah, have I got a pesky button? Yeah, I think I got a pesky button. Yeah, there it is. One pesky button. Oh, I can't rub it with gloves on. I got a glove on because I cut my pesky finger. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a button. Oh, well, I just found a coin. Not much of one. I think George. George? I think yeah, it's a Britannia there. 
Yeah. Oh, I can see a seven, seventeen hundreds. Oh, George the second. Lovely jubbly. Oh, I found this signal here, and Roger's digging it for me. Oh yeah, I just too. Just. Oh, here we go. Maybe not that good. Oh, I don't know. No, no is that it? That's foil, no. isn't it? There it is. Yeah, it is. is ah, oh, we've oh. been foiled. Foiled again. <laughs> I know why you let me dig it now. <laughs> oh, Roger's found some treasure. I wouldn't go as far as that. <laughs> Not yet. Mm, down there. Oh. Oh, oh, is it a cartwheel? Oh, oh. That's a stonking good big coin. I'm not sure it is a cartwheel. It's not a cartwheel. No, something yeah. else. Is it? Is it a, it's a token? Hmm. 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 Half crown? No. No. Yeah, so. See what you make of that. That is quite crusty. Right, we'll have to get this one cleaned up. A bit of a rub on the magic trousers, methinks, and we'll get back to you. But look, it's a good big thick one. Ah, there she blows. I think it's a George Penny. I think. Uh, it's pretty crusty though. Very crusty. And there's Britannia on the back. You just see the line at the bottom and the lap and not much else. This side's much worse there. Yeah. Well, there again, this side could be pretty worse as well. But the other side's worse there. <laughs> oh, he's found some bones. Are they human? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Eye sockets. Eye sockets, yeah. Could be a sheep. There yeah. are there are bits of sheep all over the field. A bit small, don't they? Is it a bit small for a sheep? I think. It, well. Uh, mm. I don't know. Yeah, it might be. Yeah, I've, I've already seen one carcass here, fresh one. Oh. I think he's foiled again. Oh, he's been foiled. Yeah. yeah there's lots of little bits of foil. Oh, we reckon we might have a coin or it could be a pesky button. Mm. Right, let's get you off the stand so we can get right in on the action. Here. Right there. Oh, oh. oh it's quite big. Oh. Yeah, it's a coin. George, I would say. George, yeah, he's thin. George second. There's the back of him. I can just see Britannia's head there. All oh, right, oh. Lovely jubbly. Uh, oh. Yeah, it's on there somewhere. Oh, very crusty. Right, we're going to get a bit of a rubber dub dub and we'll get back to you. Hmm. Oh, I think Roger's found a bit of a hot spot here. He's on to another coin now. But that's the bottom of Britannia. Well, we can't see much on this one. It's pretty crusty. Something going on there. I think there's a head facing left. So George the second. On to the next. Oh, look what Roger just found. A lovely buckle. Maybe a hat buckle, Georgian. Yep, lovely. On to the next. 21. 1921. Is it? 1921. Uh, 31. 31. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. I won't argue over 10 years. Yeah. George V. Lovely jubbly. I'll see what I got a signal over there. It's probably CAC, but we'll soon find out. Right, here's my CAC. Oh. Oh. Yes, I thought I had it. There's a lot of rocks in the ground here. Right. Uh, mm. 
No, dig a bit deeper. Oh, yes! What a moo tube! A moo tube! First one today! <laughs> you lucky, lucky boy! Did that sound sweet, that moo tube? It sounded, it sounded too good to be true. <laughs> when something sounds too good to be true, it, it often is. Mm. Right. Yeah, we do those first Tuesday then. Mm-hmm, yep. That's a date. Ooh. That's a date, that's a hot date. Yeah, now I'm getting closer. <laughs> oh, God, I wouldn't want to budge. So it's going to be under that rock, under a massive rock. Ah, it wasn't that big. Oh, I might have had it, I might have had it. Nope. It's getting deeper. This is a good sign, we're going down. Yeah, getting deeper and deeper. Oh. oh, oh, can I see a bit of green? Be quiet! <laughs> ah! What's that? Oh, yeah. What is that? Ooh. Ah! Oh. Ooh. Is that Bronze Age? Oh, yeah. What is that? It's sort of got a ridge going through the middle. I think it's just a bit of pot with a funny ridge. Right, let's see if there's anything more down there. No, just that. That's a shame. So yeah, that is old looking. Yeah. Oh, cast is coming off. Sweaty fingers. Yeah, I think it's just a piece of ancient medieval cooking pot. But at that, for a minute, I thought I had the tip of a sword, Bronze Age sword. Oh, that's it, me lovers! I'm going to head off to the pub for a few jars. Cheers!